Hello everyone. In this video, we will try to design a single stage RC coupled amplifier and study its frequency response. For performing this experiment, we required apparatus, a NPN transistor, four resistor for biasing condition, two capacitor, basically coupling capacitor of value 10 microfarad and one bypass capacitor of value 100 microfarad. And we also required a function generator and oscilloscope. So before connection and performing the experiment, first of all, we will have a short introduction or short discussion about the theory. So this is the circuit diagram for single stage RC coupled amplifier. So here we use resistor R1 and R2 for providing biasing condition and uh, resistor RE is used for stabilization. Capacitor C in and CC are coupling capacitor which function is to block DC signal and allows AC signal to pass through it. Capacitor CE is bypass capacitor which is connected in parallel to the resistor RE. And this is the common emitter configuration in which we will follow voltage divider biasing which we have studied in previous video. Now AC signals are provided between the base terminal and emitter terminal and output is taken from the collector terminal. Now we will see the frequency response of a RC coupled amplifier. So basically at extremely lower frequency and extremely higher frequency the voltage gain drops out but at the mid range frequency it remains constant. So basically point P1 and P2 are the cutoff frequency because uh, below this frequency and uh, above this frequency the transistor do not respond as efficiently but uh, between the range of lower cutoff frequency and higher cutoff frequency uh, it responses efficiently. So basically the difference between the higher cutoff frequency and lower fre cutoff frequency is defined as bandwidth. So now we will uh, connect the circuit and take the observation and verify this curve from the amplifier frequency response. Now we will connect our circuit diagram. Firstly, we, uh, we will not connect the bypass capacitor and we will see the frequency response. And in the second case, we will also include the bypass capacitor. And again, we will see the frequency response. Let's start the connection. So first of all, we will connect the resistor of value 100 kilo ohm to the base and 10 kilo 10 kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm resistors are connected together with the ground and resistor 100 kilo ohm and 10 kilo ohm are connected with the positive voltage supply. So, so we will take DC power supply of a 12 volt and we will connect it to the common terminal of resistor R4 and R1. Now we will connect the resistor 10 kilo ohm with the capacitor and we will connect the common input with the coupling capacitor. Now we will connect the emitter to the resistor 1 kilo ohm and now we will connect the coupling capacitor C1 to the base. Input signal from the function generator are given to the coupling capacitor C1 and we will take the output from the cup this coupling capacitor of 10 microfarad and connect to the second channel of oscilloscope and we will connect the negative terminal of oscilloscope to the ground as well as for the channel 1. Now we will connect the input signal coming from the function generator to the first channel of oscilloscope. So this is our connection for single stage RC coupled amplifier without bypass capacitor. Now we will see the frequency response and also take down the observation for the different frequencies and we will evaluate our input voltage as well as output voltage from the oscilloscope. So first of all we will set the frequency to the 30 hertz in function generator and uh, input voltage is 0.2 volt. So as soon as we will start this simulation we will get some wave that is the orange wave the upper wave representing the input wave and lower wave is output wave. So obviously the output wave is amplified wave as compared to the input wave. So now we will take the observation of the maximum voltage. So as we are using second 
marker so we will take the observation of t2 that is this section so first of all we will measure the input voltage so t2 so maximum input voltage is 0.2 volt which is clearly visible so we will take down the observation now we will measure the output voltage so for that we will shift our marker to the second wave now we will take the reading of the maximum voltage at the t2 so for the channel b at the t2 at this section the maximum voltage is 1.846 volt so we will take down the observation 1.86846 volt similarly we will take the observation for 100 hertz and 300 hertz now we will take observation for 1 kilohertz so, so as soon as we will set our frequency to 1 kilohertz and start the simulation we will get the waves uh, are much more closer so we will increase our basically we will decrease our time base setting to differentiate the wave and now we will take the observation similarly to earlier observation similarly we will take observation for 1 kilohertz 3 kilohertz 10 kilohertz 30 kilohertz and 200 kilohertz so similar we can see that for 2 kilohertz frequency maximum output voltage obtained is 1.80 volt we have taken the observation so as soon as we will shift our uh, frequency to 1 megahertz and start the connection it won't respond else. now we will find the gain that is the ac gain by dividing the output voltage by input voltage and we will take the log of gain uh, value and plot it uh, with the frequency and we will see the graph now we can see the frequency response graph in the figure now we will connect the cap bypass capacitor with in parallel with the resistor R3 and now we will see the frequency response at these frequencies and write down the observation for output voltage so for this we will first of all set the frequency at 30 hertz and then an input voltage 0 0.1 volt we will see the frequency response so as soon as we will start the simulation uh, output wave now we will change our time based setting in order to get the waves so there we can obtain the wave and the output wave is much larger than the input wave so now we will take the observation for this we will pause the wave Now we will set the input voltage to the 0 0.05 volt and uh, set the frequency to the 30 hertz and start the simulation and we will change our time based setting in order to obtain the standing wave and then we will take the observation after pausing the wave and moving the marker on the wave so we obtain the observation so we will get output voltage as 3.72 to volts similarly we will find all these value by setting the frequency uh, of different value now we can see that for 1 megahertz frequency input voltage is 0 0.05 volt and we can obtain the output voltage maximum output voltage at 3.682 volt now we will find voltage gain that is the AC voltage gain and plot and plot a graph between the log of gain with the frequency so we can see the graph of with the log of gain with frequency and we can see the frequency response of rc coupled amplifier with the bypass capacitor so this is all about our experiment thank you